This presentation is brought to you by Brightpoint Infotech, focused on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, and we're highlighting for you the new changes brought by Microsoft in the product called Monitored Fields or Field Monitoring. The presentation is being brought to you by Willie Ogot, a technical consultant for Brightpoint Infotech. Brightpoint Infotech is a gold certified partner with Microsoft, offering a variety of products and services from finance and operations, business central, CRM, HR, GP, NAV, SharePoint, Power BI Analytics, and all the Power Apps. We offer consulting, implementing upgrades, testing, application, integrate, hosting. We look forward to understanding you and working with you in the process of improving and making you achieve your objectives, visions, and goals. Thank you so much for this introduction. We shall deep dive into the presentation. So once you log into Business Central, you'll be able to see this window of Business Central with this navigation, easy navigation by Microsoft. And you find that here, in this case, we are under Sandbox. So this is our test environment, company's corners, with all these navigation planes around, finance, cash, sales, purchasing, setups. And for the purpose of this presentation, we are going to go into the search icon, the global search icon, and type field monitoring. The system is the configured in a way that it's intelligent and smart. So you just type a word and produce everything that relates to that word in the system. Apparently, we have 25 pages task that has fields related. Now, to start this field monitoring, we need to use the word field monitoring setup. And in field monitoring setup, you need to configure the notification recipient. In this case, I'm going to put myself. This recipient should be people who are hosted in your Azure Active Directory for ease of flow. Then the email notification account. Here I'm going to use the current user, which is my email, but I have my colleagues' emails and others that have also been set up. So in any case, if you have a different email that you want to use, but it's still set up, you can actually take that email and take it and make it default. Okay. So then from here, we have to configure and say start. So when we start the film monitoring, we shall be able to maybe adjust on our retention policy. How long do we want this information retained? And this is linked to what we call chain log setups. I like this because now we can be able to know what users have done on specific things. So after doing this field monitoring setup, we're supposed to do again another monitoring. They've monitored fields itself. So which field are we now monitoring? For the case of this, in the case of the vendor, you will be given all the fields in the vendor and which one you want to see. Let's say I want to have notification that a vendor name has been changed, a vendor bank account has been changed, any vendor related sensitive information I want to know or I want the admin to know. So I'll say notify if they've changed the name, notify if they have changed the telephone number. So in an event that a user logs into Business Central and says they go to vendor and make a change in a vendor's name, for example, I'm going to change the name of Fabricam and add a few or two words to it. Yeah, so I'm going to come and say, one, two, three. Just Fabricam test one, two, three. One, two, three was not there before. So if this gets saved, which is happening here, now the person who's 
uh, has been set up to be get the notification, should be able to get the notification in their email address. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on YouTube. Thank you.